Yes, Paul, indeed. It is uh, the 25th anniversary of the Khojale massacre. And uh, that's when, according to Azerbaijan, 613 Azeris, at least 613 Azeris, were killed, as our report mentioned. And this is a moment of catharsis, of uh, taking count and of what has happened over the past 25 years. The Karabakh conflict is still ongoing between Azerbaijan and Armenian, Armenian separatists. And to get an idea of how Azerbaijan views Khojala and Karabakh, we're joined by Hikmat Hajiyev, who is the spokesman for the foreign ministry of Azerbaijan. Hikmat, thank you for joining us. Thanks so what is the significance of Khojala for Azerbaijan today? Uh, and actually today, people of Azerbaijan are paying tribute to the memory of uh, Khojala victims. On, in, uh, in 1992, on uh, February uh, 26, Armenian armed forces, with the support of the regiment of the USSR, conducted carnage over the civilian population of Khojala, and over the night, more than 600 people were killed, and including women, uh, children, and elderly. It was an act of genocide and crime of humanity against the people of Azerbaijan. But it wasn't a single case. It was a part of systematic policy of Armenia. Armenia conducting notorious ethnic cleansing in the occupied territories of Azerbaijan. So this massacre takes place and uh, Armenian forces, it's, it's a turning point of sorts for Armenia and Armenian forces in Karabakh and uh, they take control of Karabakh. What is the current situation over the past 24 hours? We've seen renewed fighting. Every year we see rockets fired from one side to the other, from Azerbaijan into Armenia. Armenian uh, side also fires it. So what is the current status of this neutral zone and what's going on there? Uh, unfortunately, more than 25 years, Armenian occupation and aggression against Azerbaijan continues. And Armenia used the force against the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan and occupied 20 percent territories of Azerbaijan. And what's the reason for the escalation is the presence of Armenian armed forces, an illegal presence of Armenian armed forces in the sovereign territory of Azerbaijan. And about and a prime reason of escalation we have also seen in April. Therefore, Armenia conducted political provocations and supported and complemented by the military provocations so as to divert the attention of the international community from the core cause of the conflict, that is the physical occupation of Azerbaijan territories. And Armenia also tried by such means political military uh, provocations to divert the attention of the international community from the Khojali genocide as we are celebrating today's 25th anniversary of Khojali. And Armenia also used this conflict for its internal political political purposes because Armenia is expecting parliamentary elections where current regime of Armenia uh, is uh, deprived from any social base support. So uh, there is international consensus that Karabakh is an occupied territory. It belongs to Azerbaijan. Let's say Azerbaijan has the moral high ground, the legal standing over Karabakh. So why hasn't Armenia or Azerbaijan been able to succeed in getting Armenia and Armenian forces to vacate Karabakh and Azerbaijani territory? And the, you're absolutely right. The United Nations Security Council adopted four resolutions, and we, with four resolutions, demand immediate, unconditional, and full withdrawal of Armenian forces from the all occupied territories of Azerbaijan. And with four resolutions, and it's also will of the international community supports and reaffirms the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. Why still Armenian armed forces are continuing their policy of occupation? Because we are expecting from the international community to put political and diplomatic pressure on Armenia to withdraw its troops from the occupied territories of Azerbaijan. That is the main cause for the conflict. Thank you. Thank you, Hikmet. Hikmet Ajiyev there, the spokesman for the Azerbaijani Foreign Ministry, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And as he said, that uh, there have been UN resolutions calling for Armenia to vacate Azerbaijani territory and Karabakh, but this hasn't happened and the conflict still remains and it remains a source of tension between Azerbaijan and Armenia.